Today we're going to talk about the Brunton chain tensioner. You're going to need the following tools. An Allen key 2.5, an Allen key number 3, a socket wrench number 15. First, we're going to start by disassembling the original te chain tensioner. We're going to salvage a couple of things. First, we start with the central screw. Be careful, it is still under tension. We're gonna salvage the first roller and the spring inside. Now, we proceed with the jockey wheels. We keep the end cap. We're going to need the, the Allen key 2.5 for this screw. We're also going to salvage the roller of the pulleys. Now, we don't need this anymore. Now we proceed with the other side. Now we have all we need. One spring, three rollers and two end caps. Now we will start assembling the bike fund chain tensioner. We can start with the pulleys. First, we start by installing the screws, like so. Again, use the Allen key 2.5. Should be able to spin freely. Now with the other side. Remember to put the end caps in place. Now, we will proceed by installing the spring on the tensioner. We advise for you to use oil. It is very important. Keep in mind that the spring has these sides and you have to make sure that they align with the mechanism. So this is the hard part. You need to make sure that the spring aligns this part with this part. Sometimes you may need to add a spacer inside. The length of this roller over here can sometimes be different. So sometimes you will need to add one spacer or two spacers. So be very careful.
For this screw, you're going to need the Allen key number three. Don't tighten it completely. You first need to spin it counterclockwise, like so. Maybe a little bit more loose. And now it's under tension. Now you have to be extra careful. The mechanism is under tension, so it can slash back and it may damage this area. Now we proceed to assemble it back into the bike. Like so. Here is where the socket wrench comes into play. First, place the spacer and then the knob. And start tightening, little by little. tighten it is very important. Now, the last part, and this is the tricky one, how to put this back into the chain. You're going to have to half fold your bicycle, like so. You have to be very careful because if your hand slip is going to swing back and it's going to hurt the, your new tensioner. But if everything goes well, the assembly is complete.